Hello everybody, I am Master Gamer 4 and do you remember me? Well, I actually have a new channel called Kill Kid Gaming 99 here, but I unfortunately lose the password of that channel and I'm back to my new channel here. So today is the first video. It's not the first video, but the first return video for my channel and this video I'm going to be showing you how you can make your Final Fantasy Nights at Freddy's fan game in Click Team Fusion 2.5 so this is going to be a bit hard so just going to concentrate in it and I recommended you to watch first all the tutorials before watching this one first alright and uh, yeah uh, make sure that you have Click Team Fusion 2.5 software and uh, all um, the thing, alright. So, it's, it's gonna make a new document and name it as the oh crap, name it as menu uh, BR bar and, and change the resolution to 1 to 80 and by 720. Yeah, so, so that is good. Now, double click on menu bar and oh hell, you can see this. Uh, uh, box this box is smaller than the uh, big box over here so to fix it just click on the application one go to the uh, window tab and change the resolution or the size to 1 to 80 by 720 hit enter All right so so now you can see it will fit the screen yeah is it it? yeah it's it fitted now uh, what you can do is right click on the um oh no so first of all you'll need all your files for your fan game like audio and the files and i'm i'm just going to be using the uh file night and i said free freddy's file because that will be easier and i will also put a link in the description for it so i find myself freddy's two three and one, one file and and i sorted them into more files here so like animation file, deep static, letter or something, right door, uh, and yeah. So and uh, this is the file you will get, and yeah, I will put the link in the description. Just check it out, download it, and then watch the video. All right. So just gonna get back to the tutorial and right click on the area, hit insert object, and insert an active object. So now double click on object, and it image for your title screen here. So the image that I think is better is the uh, main title screen, this one. Not this one, the uh, uh, upper one is better. You know, we are going to make an animation, guys. So, yeah, hit OK. Oh, okay. Did I now right click on it, hit new frame. And it another uh, the twitching of Freddy. So, up. Oh, yeah, this one over here. Hit OK and you can see this here. Now the direction options and change the speed to 3 and hit loop. Now when you just run the application, I mean the frame, you can see it actually twitches Freddy. Yeah, just click on just one click to go. Hit OK. Now just make it to fit to the frame. So that's really easy, right? Yeah. So now uh, I'm going to right click, insert object, uh, active object. Now you just gonna um, add the five nights at Freddy's text for here, alright? So it's gonna go down. Alright. I think I no 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 I I don't got here. So I think the text file yeah I got the no 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 yeah yeah this one over here. I hit uh, just go to fill tool and select like black and fill these corners in. You might have to zoom in out so then it will be easier for you to just figure it out where it is right okay now let's make it to fit where you want so I just want to fit it here now okay we're gonna add the new game stuff like, like that so to add the new game I just want to make another active object but I think something went wrong uh, oh no what the hell is wrong on. yeah yeah just add an active, active object here and just add an object of yeah open okay zoom in and 
spill this corners in. Okay. So now I'm going to make it fit here. Yes, fit it. Now right click, insert object, active object. Now again, and add your continue game one. So that's it. This isn't be really hard, right? Uh, this part it isn't hard, but there is going to be a tricky part of it. So you might have to be concentrating on here very nicely, right? Oh, crap. Control Z. Right here. Okay. So again, make it to fit. Right? So yeah, it is fit. Now, now what you can do is click on. Uh, no, no, no. Yes, cl click on that button, and you can see it's our application. It looks like a pro professional. Yeah. So now again, click on the application one. Double click on application one. Click on two, and name the frame to article. Um, by the way, you can you can name it as anything you remember. I'm going to name it as article because we are going to put our newspaper paper here. So double click on that here and right click into object, active object. Now add the image of your newspaper. So that's going to be really cool, right? So go down, down. Yeah, I got the newspaper. Yeah, and again make it to fit to the frame. Uh, for like that, I can make it to fit to uh, the frame. Yeah. Now what you're gonna do is just check if it's fitted or not. I think it's fitted. Yeah, it's fitted. Yeah. So now what you're gonna do is double click on your menu bar again, and then go to your event editor. This is a small bar button. Now click on new condition. Right click the checkerboard. Start a frame. So go to new condition again. So there is going to be really tricky. Right click the mouse pointer is keyboard, the mouse. So when the user clicks on an object, hit OK. So when user clicks on a new game, you can see the new game is over here. If you can see new game here, so right click the story where controllers down, hit next frame. So what that does is when you click on new game button, it jumps to next frame over here. So uh, that will be kind of um, like a professional if it's done. So um, I will just show in a moment here. You can, you can see now the next frame is done. So I will see a small uh, picture. When you click on new game, it jumps to this frame, like the professional kind of thing. Yeah. So now again, what you can do is just go to your uh, main uh, place, this place here. Now right click in the behind of new game and uh, right click and insert an active object again so for example this tutorial we will only need active object no other counter or something yeah we just make, just make it new and add and by the line to make an app pointing towards the new game so like this yeah yeah this is exactly what I'm looking for so we got the arrow over here and then let's make it to fit to the frame not for me, I mean, make it to fit where you want, like that. I, I just, like, you can use your arrow keys to do, but I just, uh, I, I just want to make it like that. So I hope this is somewhere in here. Yeah, 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 it's done, it's done. It's good. Again, not. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Yeah, 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 guys, now it's done. Now, what we're going to do is go to your mid, even to your new condition, or right click the mouse. So when you mouse pointer is over an object here, now when it's over the new game button, what you're going to do is remember that hover we made just now. So down the hover of the new mouse pointer is over new game. Down the hover, just right click on it and go to visibility, reappear. Now again, as copy it and just again paste it over here. Paste it. And now, just uh, right click the pasted one over here, and right click it, and hit negative. So now just delete that, and then just right click visibility, invisible. So now what that does, is it actually makes a kind of professional hover, like in the five panels of years kind of. And if you click on that, uh, in the new game button, it will surely jump to the next frame. Yeah, so when you click on, click on new game, it jumps to the this frame over here. So yeah, but this is more from uh, this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.